Good evening from Dhaka here in Bangladesh, everybody. I visited India five times, I've been to Pakistan twice, and I've been to Sri Lanka twice. And finally, I can say I've been to Bangladesh. Uh, ever since I started traveling in 2019, when I visited Sri Lanka and India for the first times, I've always been fascinated with like the kind of South Asian. Uh, continent. The culture, the food, the people, the hospitality, it all fascinates me a lot. Um, but finally, I'm here in Bangladesh and we're going to have an amazing time. We're here for the next couple of weeks and uh, I haven't been in one of these like big crazy cities for a while everybody. So I'm a little bit uh, kind of like a little bit of culture shock, not going to lie, a little bit of culture shock. But I am meeting one of my friends here. I've known him for a couple of uh, years. His name is Nadir. Nadir on the go and he's one of the biggest travel vloggers in Bangladesh. I think he might be waiting around somewhere over there. Let me just tell you guys, it was not easy to get into this country. I've been wanting to go here for years, right? And uh, I've been so unsure of like visa on arrival and COVID restrictions. And finally, I've had the research. I messaged the embassy and they got back to me saying it's visa on arrival for Australians. But literally, the past 30 hours of my life have been the craziest it's ever been, all right? I'll give you, I'll give you a little rundown. Let's just... Let's put you guys on my suitcase for the moment, but basically. So I flew Sydney to Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, eight hours. One hour layover, that was, that was all fine, right? But this is where it starts getting just absolute crazy. So Kuala Lumpur to Dhaka, four hours. 5 a.m. in the morning, all good. I don't need any sleep, but we get there. We're just above Dhaka. Visibility, <laughs> visibility is crazy, imagine. Imagine you have two cheese parathas across your eyes and you're trying to fly a plane. You're not landing that thing. So he literally... Are you in the vlog? Yeah, you want to be in my vlog? Oh, okay. What's, What's your name, brother? My name is Sifa. Sifa? What's your name? Luke. Are you you're from, from, uh, you're from Dhaka? This is Bangladesh. Oh, are you picking up family or friends? Yes. My uncle is coming from Italy. Oh, Italy? Yeah, yeah. Where Very good. From? Is he bringing pizza? Pizza and pasta? No, yes, no? yes. Oh, yeah? I like, I like it. You like it? Where are you from? America? Australia. Australia, yeah. yeah. This is a nice country. Thank you, thank what you. What are you doing living? Sorry? A student, you are a student? No, I'm a YouTuber. YouTuber, what's your YouTube channel name? Luke Demand. You are in the vlog now? Yeah, you want to be in the vlog? Okay. <laughs> this, who does it want to eat? These are your, your family or friends? Cousin. Oh, your cousins. Very good. Yeah. My friend, he should be over here somewhere. I don't know where he is. Why are you going now? I'm trying to meet my friend. What's your friend's name? Nadir. Nadir. He's in... Do you know him? Nadir, Nadir, on, Nadir. Nadir on the way. Yeah, yes, he's yes, my, yeah know you him. know him. He's a blogger in our yeah, country. Yeah, he's famous, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he should be here. I don't know where he is. He came from receiving you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. He should be here somewhere. He's a famous blogger in our country. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He does travel vlogs, right? Yes, I watch his vlog. Oh, yes. very good. Maybe you can meet him. Okay, okay. <laughs> how old are you? You can call it. I'm 21. Oh, uh, guess, can... guess how old I am. I think 25, 6. Oh, 22. You are older than me one year. Yeah, only one year. Oh. I reckon you're 34. No, no. He's uh, <laughs> yeah, 13. He's Hello. 13. He's 10. Nice to meet you. He's nice my to auntie. meet you. He's my auntie. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. He's 16. 16. Very good. He's my brother. And you guys are all here for your your uncle. Yes, yes my uncle. So nothing bro is coming. Yeah, I got to uh, call, call him. Call oh, he him. sent me a message. I want to get a selfie with him. This is what he said. He says 10 minutes away. Yeah, so in the airport parking area sort of. I'm just like man. Parking area. This is the parking area. Too. You you can call yeah. it the terminal 2. Terminal 2. Terminal 2 is the last yeah, well, parking area. I'm with one of your fans, bro. Uh, he saw me vlogging. But I'm just chilling at the Habib coffee shop. Canteen, in the canteen. Behind near, the, the canteen. Near, the, near the canteen. Behind the I'm, canteen. I'm still behind the bars. I'm not out in, uh, in crazy land yet. But uh, let me know when you're nearby. You can call her. I can call you too. Alright. I don't know where I was, guys. But imagine you had two cheese parathas covering your head and you're trying to fly into Dhaka airport visibility you can't see anything we hit the runway and then i don't know if anyone's ever been on an aborted uh like plane but he went the pilot full acceler accelerator gas pedal to the metal it just went straight up and then we did 30 minutes of just looping around then he says we got to land in kolkata so i'm like I came here to come to Bangladesh, not India. I've already been there five times. I don't want to make it a sixth. And then we sit in the airport or on the runway for two hours in Kolkata. And they tell us we have to fly back to Malaysia four hours. And then we stay there for an hour and then we drive. <laughs> we fly four hours back and that's where we are here. All right, I'm, I haven't slept for like 38 hours. So I need to go find Nadir. 
Isn't that traffic? There is yeah. too much traffic in our Dhaka. It's Dhaka. It's the yes. most busiest place in the world, most, right? Most, most expensive. Expensive. Very good. Well. Very good traffic. Yeah. So much traffic. Yeah. Okay. So I'll start. I'll be there in like 20 seconds. Nice to meet you, brother. Excuse me. How do I get over? Oh, big strong arms. Where is he? Where's Nadir? I see him. Oh, hey, I see him. I spotted him. Look, he's so famous. Salam alaikum. This guy, he's got selfies. I'm bringing fans to him. I'm a big Why fan. I'm a big fan, bro. I'm a big fan. I bought oh, some of your fans. Man, you already How are you going? How are you doing, dude? Dude, I'm good. I'm good. Right. I think you want some tea? Or you want nah, let's get out of here. All right. Let's uh, go okay, explore. Okay, nice to meet you. Hopefully, your uncle comes. Nice to meet you. Damn, man. Yeah, this is not even like a bad part of it. I know, like, was it busier when you were here this morning? Dude, it was wild. Man. What the hell's going on here? I got a cap on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our, our streets are not really meant for uh, No, dude, I was, I was telling the story of like what, what happened today. Nadir came here at 8 a.m., or well, like 8 a.m., right? And you yeah, were. 8 15. 8 15. I thought you were here. Because the, the Google said that, that my flight had landed, but no, it landed in India. <laughs> Yeah. So I, I found like, out when you like texted me at what, like 9:30 that it's yeah. in your, your different country, and I was yeah, like, "It's fine." Because you sent photos, you were like, just literally just there, weren't you? Yeah. Man, it's crazy. Everyone's just like, there's no hanging rules. around. Yeah. yeah. There's literally no rules. Like no one can get in. It's, it's, <laughs> wow. This is what the rest of the country's gonna be like. So. That's nuts. Like a nice introduction. right? Yeah. Let's just go to Tuk Tuk. Yeah. Let's go. I'm so glad I have a deer here. Look at these tuk-tuks. They're like caged up. That's so sick. He knows where we're going? Yeah. Very good. We got Google Maps. Open it up. Are you gonna put your thing in the back first? Yeah. Like inside, not Thank you, sir. Back. Thank you. Want some water? Ah, uh, nah, I'm all good. Is that the 11? Yeah, well, listen. This guy, he's like, he's the king of Bangladesh. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, Nadir was just saying, though, to get here from his place, which is like downtown, it took him 30 minutes. He was saying usually it takes three hours. This is, this is crazy. So he's saying it usually takes three hours to get in, which is just yeah, absolutely is like the best traffic you can get. Salam alaikum. All right. Let's get in there. Woo. Definitely better places to chill. Like, oh, I'm stuck. All right. Too easy. So he knows where we're going. Yeah, he does. And how long will it take? What do you think? Probably like 30 minutes, but like normally this would take forever. Like literally really? forever. Yeah. Damn. And how? So how much is he asking for? Like four. Like 500. 500. Which I think it's like four and a half US dollars. Yeah, it's a pretty good deal. Isn't it? Yeah, especially from like the airport. Yeah, because this is where they usually, like, I paid double that. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Look at this tuk tuk, it's like caged in. It's like a roll cage. You know, you know why they did that? Like, Big pockets? Yeah, someone really? got mugged basically like 10 years ago, because before that it used to be free. Now this is to protect customers more than wow. anything else. Yeah. yeah, it's like no no one's getting their hands in here. Yeah. It's, it's less pickpockets, more like strong arm robbery, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, no one's gonna steal something out of your pocket, but like if you end up in the wrong area, and this is not a bad area because there's like cops everywhere. Yeah. But if you go to the wrong part of town, you're not gonna So there like, are like really, phone, there right? are dodgy parts in Bangladesh? There's definitely dodgy parts in the yeah. city, especially. But, yeah, but like, it's just kind of like small, like theft, right? Just like pickpocket, nothing like. Not much serious. pickpocketing, honestly. Like, really? like you, you're probably not gonna get hurt, but yeah. like someone will take your phone. Which oh. has happened to me like a bunch really? of times. Yeah, people. No are, way. Like, yeah, like growing up as a teenager, I've been mugged more than once. Well, they just come up and oh, get you phone. Oh, dude, they're very smart about it. They're like, they're not. It's not like the movies where they like pull out a gun and they're like, "Give me your stuff." They come up with like fake bullshit stories. So they'll like come up to me and be like, "Hey, you've been harassing my sister. 
And, you, and you'd be like, I'm not harassing your sister. And then you just, they're like, okay, give me your phone, I'll find the messages. No so way. they take your phone and they pass it off to someone else. And you're just like scared. You're thinking, what did I just do? I didn't do anything. You're like a 16 year old kid who's stressed out. And by the time you figure out that like it's a scam, your phone's gone. That's, it, that's, it, that's happened to you. Something like that happened to me. But it's uh, like, someone took my phone and passed nah. it off. And I found the guy who took my phone. He didn't have my phone. It was too late at that point. Like, I'm not wow. gonna try to fight like five people, you know, or like make a scene at that point. That's crazy. Yeah. I, th I think things are a bit better now than it was like five years ago. Yeah. But you still definitely don't want to go to the wrong part of town. Like if I'm going to like my friend's house, it's like a kilometer away. I usually don't go out with like a good phone. I have like yeah. a burner phone that I take out with. Really? Myself. So if something happens, then wow. I'm, not, I'm not losing. sirens and this is how you know you're in South Asia it's just absolute just cave, like beautiful chaos right just uh, gets the senses going which is good but I think let's see how far about Google says 13 minutes I find that hard to believe from here yeah to, I mean if there is no traffic then it's not that bad because we've only been in like 20, 20 minutes or so, which is good. Oh, they have they have meters here. Well, Do they people don't, they don't use it? From never, they no, never use it. I can't remember the last time I used it. Yeah. So, yeah. so you have to just, just negotiate. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess. Usually, what is it like per kilometer? I don't even. I literally haven't used it in years, <laughs> so, yeah. so I, I don't know. Like there was a time, I think a couple of years ago, when they would pretend to use it, and, and then you just pay whatever you agreed on it anyways. Uh, but now no one even bothers. Yeah. I think this guy just turned it off as we're talking I think about he it. Because yeah. <laughs> it's, not, it's not red anymore. <laughs> I don't know what it's like in the camera. Like I, When I turn this around, it's literally like we're in a jail cell. <laughs> like It's crazy. Yeah, very, very secure. But it makes yeah. sense. Like I feel a lot more secure holding my two thousand dollar phone in my left hand and my five hundred dollar gopro in my right hand and not even fearing the thought of getting robbed which is good this area on the left is like the fancy part of the country what's this area called it's like Bonani and Golshan so oh Golshan like, I've heard yeah. of Golshan Golshan's like maybe a kilometer that way yeah but like this is where the nice part starts this yeah is where, right. like, the fancy parts this, right this is where you, where you live no I live like <laughs> I'd say like I live in another place like south of the city. Yeah. It's not like not the fanciest part, but like the second one. Yeah, so, right. But like and those they're separated by like yeah. a bunch of other places to go. But like usually that place is so far. I don't I do not come to this place. Like my friends here, I don't visit them. Yeah. Like, who wants to deal with traffic for four hours to exactly. go like five kilometers? Yeah, 
Yeah, so like it's literally hours sometimes to get to yeah, the... Usually, like at this time, it's usually like hours. Wow. It's like we're one of the biggest cities to not have a metro. And like yeah. we just opened like one segment of our first ever metro line. But usually it's just this one street with yeah. 22 million people like going through the city. That's so crazy. So you can imagine the traffic. That is insane. Well, it makes sense because I like Delhi has a really good metro system yeah. and Delhi, like, the, Mumbai, like they all have like yeah. better infrastructure. Than it's system. it's still crazy traffic, but it still gets rid of a little bit of it yeah. when people are going on the ground. But I can imagine there's millions of people going down here every day. They're building the metro right up here. Oh, oh, above us. But yeah, yeah. They've been building it for. See, it's just bare bones. Yeah, they've yeah. been building it for a while. Wow. They just started the metro. Like, when I when I came back this time, like a few months ago, they just started, started the first segment. Of the metro. And it's it's open. One one part of it's open. Yeah, one part of it. It's like so far out of the city from where yeah. I live. It makes no sense for me to like get stuck in traffic to get there just to check it out. So I haven't even checked it out yet. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to check it out at some point. That was efficient. Yeah, that was so fast. Ooh. Yeah. Wait, no, bro, you, you can't, you can't pay. <laughs> you don't have change. You got cash? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you exchange some dollars at the airport? Yeah, I got ripped off in Sydney. They rip you off these places. Brother, for you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Have a great day. Go eat some cheese parathas, okay? <laughs> All right. You made his day, dude. <laughs> really? Yeah. I think you paid him double the amount. Yeah, I gave him a thousand. Yeah. How much would they earn usually in a day, the rickshaw uh, drivers? I don't know for sure, but it's not a lot because they, they don't own the... We gotta get it Because they don't own the vehicle. Oh, they rent it out. Yeah, so they end up paying like 70, 80% of what they're making just for rent. Really? Wow. Yeah, Yeah, I don't know why I'm traveling with a suitcase in Bangladesh. <laughs> this is the worst idea ever. You're not gonna find a lot of people. I never travel with a suitcase as well. You like you go 10 minutes from the hotel and Oh. Ah, here we go. Holiday in everybody. All right, I'll check in and we'll go out and explore. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'm not gonna film the check-in. I'll show you guys the room, maybe tomorrow. We'll see. 12.07. I'm not gonna show you guys the room yet. Building view. Okay. <laughs> I think you'll see the lake somewhere else. Yeah, the lake's over there. Maybe. I'm not sure. All right, guys. Unfortunately, I'm going to show you the room tomorrow because I'm way too tired to make this entertaining, and it's also too dark. So I'll show all the amenities um, tomorrow. Um, but me and Adir are going to head out, get some food, and uh, see what the streets are like. It's like 11. What's the time? Like 9 p.m. at the moment. 9:15. 9:15. Right? So we got a little bit of time. Uh, I'm pretty jet lagged, so I'm starting to phase off, but let's go out and uh, explore the streets for a couple hours. All right, we're out and about. We're gonna go for a walk. Hotel's just over there, the Holiday Inn. Not sponsored, I'll say that. I paid, what was it? Like, it's like $1,000 for five nights or something. Um, but they're really good. So we'll walk up here, see what we come across, see if we can get a bite to eat or a, Quick little snack, and then uh, we'll call it that a night. Everybody can get us that. Everybody can get us that. 
said like yeah there's a like some hotel with a food place i think by hotel he means oh yeah because hotels here are like food like restaurants right yeah definitely and there's like the other kind of hotels too assalamu alaikum are you here? Look around. Yeah, down here looks Better, like, like some some action. These are the streets that I was expecting. Like this is what yeah. I expect, kind of the local areas, Bangladesh, to look like. This is very local. Yeah. This neighborhood is like the real target. Sorry. I bet they don't get a lot of foreigners coming. <laughs> no. <to this> part <laughs> oh, what's this? What is it? Like a snack. What is it called? Chal Muri. Chal Muri. Is it like nuts or? No, it's like a, I don't even know what this is in English, but it's, it's Muri and they like put spicy stuff in it. I don't spicy. know how much. How good is your spice tolerance? Let's try it out. How much is one? It can be like five. Ekta than I mean, that could be like. Uh, I told him to like make it less spicy for you. Yeah, yeah. Spicy for me. <laughs> Is Tora Tora uh, in uh, Bengali? What's the word there? Olpo. 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 Wow, it's really. So, what is this stuff? This is like. Oh, man, I don't know the English word for it. Yeah. yeah, I never see it abroad, so I never even thought about what the English word <laughs> for this is. Oh, I can, I can, I can smell like the spice kind of right? spices. Yeah. It's very like aromatic. Oh, he's just he's just grabbing it, having a little snack. <laughs> so this is it. And how much does one cost? Like Ten packets. Ten. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, it smells. It smells like like biryani or something. It's it's good. I love it. Yeah, it smells really good. You're getting one. We've gathered the crowd. Is it because there's a white man or is it I the famous it's Bengali? You, no, I think it's you. Or anything else? <laughs> you guys want photos with him? <laughs> no, I don't think they know who I am. <laughs> Those guys did. So that's so it. Right. You eat it with. Right. Um, Thank you. Like, oh, you have. Oh, there's a I little. Think he's uh, give you. Yeah, no, I got, I got one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you like, come from? I'm from Australia. Australia, you? Bangladesh again, man. He's from Bangladesh, <laughs> Australia. Australia, <laughs> <laughs> mate. Thank you. Thank you. Where are you from? My from Dhaka? Yes, Dhaka. Very good. Alright, let's go to the light and we'll try this out. Alright. So what did you say this was called? Just a piece, I mean, Chal Muri. Chal Muri is the name. There's like nuts, it smells so good. But they like, have nuts in it, but it's got like they, a lot of um, dried carbs. Dried carbs. Yeah, it, it kind of looks like rice bubbles. I don't know. I think that's what it is. Yeah. I, I think that's, what, that's yeah. probably the name for yeah. it that I don't know. They look like rice bubbles. Alright, here, let's get a big scoop and uh, try it out. Greens in there, yellow stuff. Oh, it's I just like, like it. wow. Is it spicy? Not no, spicy, no. but yeah. so many flavors that yeah, yeah. I can't even explain. <laughs> you guys like? <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's literally just like yeah. the crunchiness of rice bubbles. Mm -hmm. Then it's mixed like. How, I don't know Pretty how to favorite. explain it. It's, I don't think I've had it anywhere else except for Bangladesh. Yeah, go have a look at that. Ooh, different kinds Usually of things. they put in like even more nuts and uh, more uh, beans, but I think this yeah. one's the... I mean, you'll sure like For me, like, he, you told him not to do it spicy, right? Yeah. Yeah, because it's not spicy at all, so thank, yeah. <laughs> thank you for doing that. So what, this was 10, 10 each? Yeah. That's like 10 cents, right? Like less than 10 cents, like 9 or 8 or something. Wow. Like and he's just selling it on the street. Yeah. This is um, probably the most common form of like street food you're gonna find. There's also like puchka, which you have to try. Oh, I've heard of puchka. That is like my favorite thing yeah. in Bangladesh. What is it? It's a lot like um, pani puri if you've had that. Yeah. But yeah. it's better because pani puri is just like, you know, the dry crust and they put some liquid in yeah. it. This one has like more, I think, potatoes and just like a lot more Yum. filling. So it, it's my favorite. Yeah, that sounds so good. Yeah, this tastes like Really nice, like literally just like the perfect snack. Come down the street, go to your, your local, what did you say it was called? What's it called? Chal Muri. Chal Muri. Go to yeah. your local Chal Muri, man. And then uh, have a quick bite to eat. People selling it, see that like, it's on a bowl. 
Yeah. It's usually they have like a strap around them. And, and they, they like, just walk, walk around, around with wow. it. Like in like cricket stadiums or whatever. So it's like, That's so cool. Child Murray. I'm making use of the local, uh, the local tripods. But as I was saying, it comes with like this yellow bit of cardboard that you use as like a spoon. And you just get a big chunk like that. Oh, the bite that I had before, a little bit spicy. It's really yummy though. A really unique taste. Little bits of like greens in there. But, oh, I think I'm getting the spicy bit here. That is spicy. Nadir is <laughs> literally. Oh my god, this is spicy now. The king of Bangladesh. <laughs> Messi. Argentina. <laughs> I knew Nadir it was a big big deal, but I didn't know you were this big of a deal. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is a... Hello, sir. I am from Bangladesh. And you? You were from where? Thank you. I am from Australia. Nice. You are from? Bangladesh. Ah. Oh, I think I, I'm, I think I know the word. Uh, Tamanamke. Tamanamke? My name is Junaid. Junaid. And you? Uh, oh, I learned this. I learned this. Wait. I'm, I'm a. I'm a. I'm a. Luke. 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 Nice name. Thank you. You have a very good name as well. Nice to meet you. Okay. Have a great day. <laughs> I think now we're going out like Main Street and just like no into Yeah, this is kind of just like back streets. Yeah. I think it's still like safe because it's crowded. Yeah. But you wouldn't want to go like, you know, too far into the back streets of, yeah. of most neighborhoods when it's like dark and there's no one there. Wait. So will you consider this area safe? Right now? Yeah. Because there's so many people, you know, nothing's gonna happen. Yeah. Enough. By like 3 a.m. Maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> It's so interesting, there's so many like shops. It's like a market, I think. It's like, I think now we're entering like a residential area. Yeah, right. Oh, pharmacy. I need to actually buy something. Hello, sir. Do you sell ciprofaxin? Cipro... Ciprofaxin? I said. Faxacin? Did I say it right? Ciprofaxin. Yes, yes, okay. that's the one. What's it for? Like, what is that? Uh, food poisoning. All right. <laughs> Just have it on standby yeah. because last time I was in mm. India yeah. and I had the street drinks in Old yeah. Delhi out both ends it's for 48 hours. Before you need it for exactly. Sure. 500. Five hundred. Five hundred. Five hundred. That's okay. Yeah. yeah. Good. All right. Thank you very much, sir. Taka Bhavan? What is it? Fifteen taka, one taka piece. Oh, I thought it's fifteen. I thought you said fifty per piece and it's like fifteen. Oh, so it's 150? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. Done about it. Welcome. Look at these guys. This place is like a bigger market during the day. Yeah. Wow, they're really just like clumped together in there. Hello, sir. How at uh, how much is one one chicken? How much? English person. I want out of the game. He doesn't understand English at all. Can you ask him how much one chicken is? Ekta murgi koto. Kg tin chudi. Kg tin. So one kilo is like three twenty. Three twenty. Yeah. And one chicken is probably like one kg. Do you think? Ekta murgi person. Koto. So the actor Murugi Kwaki is here. Actor Murugi Chooks. Yeah, one chicken is usually like one kilo. Yeah. Wow. Look at the department that they should be in there. Pakistani chicken. Pakistani. Wait, sorry, what? It was a Pakistani chicken. I was asking like what kind of chicken it is. A Pakistani chicken. Yeah. Do they eat cheese parathas? Alright. Lake. Lake. Lake restaurant. Lake restaurant. Wow, look at all the street dogs. Oh, what's what's it? So that's like chicken or chicken? No, chicken. Chicken. Very good. You have chai, chai? Uh it's a chai. chai? Chicken grill, sir. You have best chai in Bangladesh. Uh, best chai. Alright. 
Very good. Very good. We're just gonna get a. Uh... <coughs> it's so hot in here. <coughs> nice. Yeah, I feel like we're not gonna have the table to ourselves. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. So like half a grilled chicken is two twenty. Wow. There's like beef chop, which is like oh. some beef meat. We have yeah. a do we do we chai? Do chai. Oh. Why do we chai? Do we? It's chop. Is it called chop? Chai. Yeah. Chop. So it's not like chai. C H A I. C H A. Chop. Chop. Ah. Interesting. It's so, they, they have so many similarities to like Hindi and Urdu. He's, he's literally the king of Bangladesh, everybody. So I'm gonna go. So I asked Nadir to see if he could ask where the chai's being made so I could show it. Maybe it's out the back, but they're buying it from another place. Yeah, I think they were buying it from two places, chai places. So they have someone that just is like chai man, chop cha man. Hello, it's good. What's up? Oh, you know me as well. Salam alaikum. How are you? Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. With me or Nadir? Both of you. No worries. Ah, don't know about, don't know about. So how much does char cost? Like roughly, like ten or something? Probably something like that. Ten. Probably. Might be even less. Huh? Used to be less, maybe. Used to be five. But maybe five, five, really? Oh, that's no, twenty. No, twenty. <laughs> oh, so it's base. Uh, so it's like, did he say base? Is that twenty? Is that twenty? Beast is 20. So it's like similar. It's like, uh, so beast is uh, without an H at the end. It's like beast. Beast. Beast is like yeah. The numbers are very yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's try it out. It's just milk, milk tea. Yeah, probably a lot of sugar. A lot of sugar. Man, that's like, the milk. Is... Huh? I like tea. Yeah. Man. I don't drink tea like anywhere else other than like South Asia, and they do it. They do it the best. Can you tell him he has delicious tea? Very good. Delicious. So good as halo? Halo. Yeah. Halo. 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 I forgot in like South Asia the staring. It's funny. South, uh, like South Asia, because I, yeah, I love cricket and like I can play cricket. It's so fun, just like on the streets, playing with other people. One thing I need to ask about Bangladesh: um, Do you guys ride on trains? Like on top of the, yeah, on top of the trains. Is that still a thing, or is that if it's crowded enough, like not for most of the year, but if it's crowded enough, it's definitely a thing. Yeah. And it's like I, any, I've never ridden on Really? I wouldn't. It's not safe. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Alright, I want to do it. <laughs> it's like the ones that it's like around here usually when it gets way too crowded. Like yeah. That's when there's no space and like we'll be standing on, we're sitting on top of the train or something. Usually like the sun. Yeah. It's not recommended. I wouldn't be the only person on the train. Okay. I'd think we're faster than you want. I've never done it, but I would like to do it for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's finish this off. Yeah, look, you can see all the sugar. Is that sugar? Like, what is it? It's kind of like thick. Yeah. It's a milk, um, what do you call it? The shore. I don't know what's the term for it. Uh, like, can... we call it shore, but it's like. Oh, milk, the, uh... um, like the crema. Yeah, it's like when you're cooling the milk and the deposits on it. Yeah, right. All done. Let's uh, grab the bill. So I'm gonna go. How much for Dewey Chop? Dewey Chop. 
It's only like 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. Alright, you can have 100. That's okay. Thank you very much, sir. Alright. <laughs> really? Did they, were they happy there? Three, two, one. Very good. Thank you, sir. I remember the very first time, like I was in India and I was at the Taj Mahal. Yeah. And like once they started, the line just like, it just, you'd, you'd, you multiply. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just like, it happened. Were, were people recognizing you in India, like back when you were there? Like, was this when you were big already? No, that was like, uh, when I was first starting out, it was just people that were at, at like the Taj Mahal because they they visit it from like the villages because yeah. so it's such a famous landmark. They haven't seen like a tourist um, before. You're like as big of a tourist attraction as the Taj Mahal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, more, be more people were getting photos with me than <laughs> the actual uh, building. Alright. We're going... Uh... Oh, he's, he's going fast. We're checking out the lake area. Seems to be a few people loitering around. Oh, little shops. Find more oh, they're playing chess. Wow. I think I like chess tables. This is rare. Yeah. Really? I don't think it's like so they just very common. Like would that. they bring their own pieces? Looks like it. I actually do like chess. Yeah. Oh look, these guys, they got like four games going. At once. Oh, it's like a team game almost. I think they brought their own board. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. It's like an older crowd too than like the crowd you, you usually see hanging by the lake. It's mostly like... It'd be like teenagers usually? Usually, yeah. Like if people are chilling, like that's what I used to do with my friends. Yeah. yeah. Just, just hang out like these guys. Right. That's more common. So this one doesn't actually smell bad, the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it doesn't smell at all. Some places you can be. So this is the lake. I'm sure you don't want to go swim in here, no. but it's not terrible. It's like, I don't know the word for it. It's like, a chill is the term. But like, that usually implies like, not clean water. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a lake not clean water. Or maybe there are ones, I've just never seen. Are there um, like, dangerous animals in Bangladesh? Like not crocodiles? Not, not in the city. No. no. <laughs> uh, if you go far south enough, yeah. was, you're definitely gonna find something. You're gonna find tigers and crocodiles. Tigers? Yeah. Bangladesh has tigers. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's like like in the mountain, in the in the jungles. Yeah, yeah. The Royal Bengal tiger, right? Like so. That's really. really? Yeah. There's what? Like, um. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm a big fan of it. Thank you. Oh, I'm a big fan of it. Thank you. Oh, I'm a big fan of it. Thank you. Oh, I'm a big fan of it. Thank you. It's like in Bangladesh or in Dhaka, like what do like teenagers do for fun other than like kind of loitering around? Are they like sports? Obviously, like cricket, yeah, the cricket's. most popular sport here. In the winter, like if you'd come like a month ago, you'd see people saying badminton. Like, oh like, yeah, that's big in the winter. Uh, football is big, but not nothing's as big as cricket. Yeah, you know? like, like that's the biggest thing. That's what everyone plays. Hello, guys. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. Nice to meet you. All right, guys, we're walking back to the hotel now. Absolute crazy first couple hours here in Bangladesh. Listen to this: you got buses honking, you got trucks, you got ambulances, police. Roads are crazy, but uh, we finally made it here in Bangladesh. Everybody excited to spend the next couple of weeks in this amazing country. Um, yeah, I think that's it. As always, chase your dreams and we'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.